gotten Joe out of situations where it could have been bad for him. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like really bad for him. I, I can see having a different lens. I on front that. line that. Me. Mm-hmm. When that shit happened with consequence, my man popped on cons. No disrespect to cons. But that was my homie. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That was my homie that front lined that. Mm-hmm. He caught, yo, nigga cons swung on me. Yo, niggas got to come down here. Say no more. But now you're trying to play like I was some flunky nigga sleeping on a couch like you found me on some corner and gave a nigga a roof over you. Who you fuck you think you talking to, nigga? Well, well, well. Let's talk about it, people. My name is Sensei Ripping. I'm back again with another video. And as you've seen there in the clip yesterday, Maul and Roy finally broke their silence ever since Joe Button announced that they will no longer be uh, welcome back to the podcast. And in the video that you can see for yourself on that Vimeo page, they pretty much, you know, shared all the issues that was going on between them and Joe Button. But during the sit down response video, Maul brought up an incident that happened back in the day on Love and Hip Hop between Consequence and Joe Button. Pretty much saying that, you know, when Consequence snuffed Joe Button, it was Ma that stepped up, had his mans come through and put hands and feet on Consequence, right? So, you know, it's all of these things that Ma was just bringing up uh, for those who may not even know. So, of course, Consequence, you know, heard his name being mentioned and went on IG to pretty much send shots at uh, Ma and Roy. So, in the post here, uh, he pretty much says, I don't know what the F going on over here. Just remember what you said, Ma. You taking credit for lining me up, then you're gonna have to live it now. Joe couldn't save y'all because he couldn't save himself. This is disrespectful, and I'm your senior in the streets and in the music industry. X webbed who birthed Joe Button. Y'all on my ish for eight years sending shots. Your mans get smacked, and y'all can't even shake it. But guess what? Y'all realize he is exactly what I said he was. Uh, then went on to follow up saying, you know, I took my five minutes and ate whatever came with it. Meanwhile, y'all got robbed by your own guy. No gun, no knife, no nothing. My name is not to be mentioned by anybody who ain't got their paper straight. Hashtag Queens all day. Now, for those who don't know, I posted a video um, earlier today where Joe Budden responded to the accusations of him stealing from Maul and Rory. Y'all can check that out. I'll make sure to leave it up at the end of this video. But again, you know, shout out to Consequence. You know, he's been going through a lot lately with his health. It's good to see him. Uh you know, back looking like himself again. Um, so I just had to send that, you know, positive energy to Consequence because he's just been going through a lot behind the scenes. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to uh, Consequence YouTube page, you know, follow him on all social media platforms. But th- this is the clip right here, man. The infamous clip for those who may not remember this, 2021. This did happen some years ago. You know what I mean? Consequence pretty much walked down on Joe, snuffed him. <laughs> That's so what I mean, man. Joe Budden has went through a lot, man. He He's had a long journey to get to this point. And this is what he means when he talks about those day ones, man. And look, y'all can even see in a clip where, where Tahiri snuffed him. Bop! You know what I'm saying? Back when Tahiri was was uh, repping Joe Budden hard. But that lets you know how long ago this was. Um, like I said, this is something that I really didn't want to see happen. You know, all of these uh, skeletons, right? All of these issues that's been going on for years are now starting to come to the light thanks to uh, Maul and Roy and all the issues they pretty much been holding on to forever. Now, I don't know if this is the actual incident where Maul homie walked down on Consequence because this was another clip that released. So uh, some dudes, you know, y'all can pause the video, do what y'all want with it. Pretty much ran down on Consequence, put hands and feet on y'all. And I don't know if this is the actual clip that Maul is talking about when he says it was his man that stepped up to the plate. But I made sure to get y'all the clips, put them together so y'all can see exactly what it is. Y'all can find it yourself on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of give y'all an idea of exactly uh, what Maul was talking about. But overall, like I said, man, it's very unfortunate that all of that issues have to be uh, aired out in front of the public. Um, but at this point, it is what it is, man. Um, of course... Once lawyers got involved, like Joe Budden said, I guess he felt a bit offended and felt the need to pretty much uh, end the relationship moving forward, especially if Maul and Roy feels as if they've been uh, taken advantage of, you know what I'm saying, as if Joe has stolen money from them. All of these things, like I said, I just wish this wouldn't have went this far. I wish the, the issues could have been resolved behind closed doors. And even with lawyers present, however you want to do it, just not on social media, because now you leave the, the environment for, you know, the, the fans to pretty much add their 
two cents into the situation, right? Everyone's giving their own take as to what's going on. But in all reality, it's only Joe, Maul, and Roy, and of course the others that's involved behind the scenes. You know, they got to figure this out, man. And like I said, it's, it's just very unfortunate because these dudes for a minute, man, they were the face of the podcast game. And again, the Joe Budden podcast is not going anywhere. We already know that. And even though Maul and Roy finally sat down um, and released their you know, official response video, I don't know if they will be producing more content moving forward. But like I said, you know, all this back and forth, um, you know, bringing up old ish, you know, what I mean, just goes to show there's been a lot of issues that's been going on with their relationship behind the scenes. They just been keeping it cordial, you know, what I mean, but now with everything starting to, you know, heat up, man, it's, it seems like egos started getting in the way of these guys and potentially messed up the bag. In my opinion, I feel like Marlon and Roy. You know, they dropped the ball when they never started their own platforms and creating content. Now you're stuck, you know, scrambling, trying to figure out what your next move is when y'all both could have had your own YouTube channels, posting clips of your own commentary and, and, and building, you know, your own platform in which you now can get paid for the content that you create. I mean, that's exactly what we over here doing on YouTube, including me, myself, Sensei Rip, over here on Forgotten Kings TV 2.0. Y'all make sure to like, share, and subscribe. But yeah, man, you know, it's, it's it's very unfortunate that these guys um, don't see the value in themselves in that regard. They should have put content together. Now, all the business and the issues in which they feel like, you know, they're entitled to and the money, I can't speak on that. You know what I mean? That's, that's only between Joe, them, and the lawyers. You know, I can't speak on them and their money, but I do realize that this is the Joe Button Podcast. And if you felt like you wanted to build your own platform, the best way to do that was creating your own YouTube channel, right? That's just, you know, me and my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. My name is Sensei Rip. I'll be back with more heat. Till next time, all right? Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Peace.